Hi, today I have two easy questions for you and I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve both questions on your own and then when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question. An organism of the genotype that is heterozygous for the gene A and heterozygous for the gene B can make gametes of all uh, of the following kinds except and here is the four answers that you may choose from and uh, here is my explanation when we have diploid organism that has two alleles for each gene and uh, alleles can be for example as in our example uh, heterozygous for the gene A so capital A and small a and heterozygous for the gene B so capital B and small b. So when uh, such organisms produce gametes and for example in humans this means uh, in males sperm and in females uh, it is uh, egg. So uh, we would have only half of the number of the uh, alleles and this is a random process so any uh, one of these two can go to the gamete or any one of these two can also uh, go in, th in the gamete so we may end up with uh, uh, different uh, genotypes and here how we find the genotypes uh, possible for example here uh, genotypes possible that is for example this is going to be the first one capital A capital B so let me list this capital A capital B and we also may have capital A small b so capital A small b this is the second possible genotype and also we may have small a and capital B so small a capital B and we may also have small a small b so this is four genotypes possible so now we can uh, find which answer is incorrect so uh, answer a capital a capital b we have such variant here and answer b capital b small b uh, is impossible because uh, always in the gamut have to be present one of the alleles uh, for the gene A and one of the alleles for the gene B. So this uh, answer B is uh, uh, answer that is incorrect. And let's check the other answers also. So answer C uh, that is small a capital B. We have such variant here and answer D, uh, small a, small b, we have here. So, uh, once again, in incorrect answer would be B, because uh, gamut is impossible where there is uh, both genes present for, or both alleles uh, present for the gene B and none for the gene A. So now let's move to the second question and here is a question if uh, one genotype that is capital A small a and capital B small, uh, small b is crossed with uh, another genotype that is uh, homozygous recessive for the both genes what uh, proportion of the offspring would be expected to be uh, the same as uh, parent to genotype that is small a small a and small b small b and uh, it's very easy to find so here is uh, one set of alleles for the parent one we may say this is parent one and this is parent two and this is another set allele for the uh, gene a so uh, we can uh, solve this problem for each allelic pairs separately and we have to find the probability to have uh, this 
uh, genotype in the offspring so let's do it and we're doing it uh, using a Punnett square so here we have parent 1 on the top and parent 2 on the side so parent 1 is heterozygous so capital A small a and parent 2 is homozygous recessive so small a small a and now we can find the genotypes and frequencies so here we would have capital A small a capital A small a small a small a here small a small a here and we are looking for the genotype that is uh, small a small a and as you see in a such cross we would have one half of all or two out of uh, four or one half or fifty percent uh, we would have a genotype that we are looking here that is small a small a and as you see fifty percent would be of this genotype when we cross parent one and parent two so let's now uh, do the same for the second set of uh, alleles so parent one once again on top and parent two on the side so on top we would have uh, parent one that is heterozygous capital B and small b and parent two that is homozygous recessive small b small b and once again we would have results as in our previous example so capital B small b here capital B small b here small b small b here and small b small b here and as you see once again we are looking for the small b small b genotype and this is going to be one half so now we just have uh, we live with the last uh, step we have to multiply probabilities uh, so we have to multiply one half by one half so we have one half chances uh, here for the allele or gene a and two alleles when we cross them and uh, here is the chances for the gene B and we have 50% chances so we have to multiply this independent uh, chances events and we are going to get answer that is one quarter and let's check if we have such answer yes we have answer C so the answer C is correct and uh, the genotype that is small a small a and small b small b we are going to have in one quarter of the offspring thank you for your attention this is all for today thumbs up if you like this video please subscribe for my channel i post new videos almost every day goodbye